In the big bill stack, we'll keep you in the know. In the big bill stack, we'll fix your techie woes. Then we'll break things up, we'll make these till we're all together raking and we'll raise a cup of grog down in the big bill stack. In the big bill stack, come and join our fire crew. In the big bill stack, we will show you what to do. And we'll hack it till we crack it, and we'll tell the world about it and forget to tidy up. That's why it's now a bilge tank. Hello and welcome to a very special episode 037 of the Bilge Tank. Coffee. Coffee. Today is the Buy Zero back in stock day. Mm -hmm. um, we've had a bigger quantity than ever before. Yep. Really, really meaty numbers. And uh, there's a hot new feature. Yep. Oh yeah. They have a sandwich and wheels. No, they don't have a sandwich, no sandwich and wheels. And wheels. Yeah. Uh, yeah. As pointed out last night, Adfru accidentally published the thing for three minutes, <laughs> and somebody managed to find it. It's like, what the hell? To be fair, the whole internet found it. Yeah, all at once. It's geeks, isn't it? It's, it takes one of us. It, it does only take five. one of us. So yeah, it's uh, it's now got a camera port. Hey, it's uh, slightly smaller than the normal camera port, which means it does need a new cable. But otherwise, works with the new camera, eight megapixels, right at your beck and call. And There's yeah, a new noobs image for this released. Last you need, Friday, I think. Yeah, Friday. Oh, Noobs yeah. 1.9.1. All the cards we're shipping from today will have that image on it, which is good for that. And also has a bunch of new features, like adding a config file to the SD card Ooh. to set up your Wi-Fi. And better Bluetooth support. And also, well, it doesn't really matter for this, right? But, but the, there's some nice features. The Wi-Fi thing for this, if you put in a Wi-Fi dongle in and you want to run it headless, that's amazing. That is actually pretty cool. Yeah. Basically, the, you can now write a WPA subconfig file, stick it in the recovery partition. That yeah. is visible on boots. Macs and Windows. I think uh, it gets copied across, doesn't it? Yeah, and it basically gets copied across on boot so you can set up yep. your Wi-Fi headless. Uh, works with the old camera as well, because why not? Uh, yeah. Very cool. Mm. Oh, and also, to go with that, we have updated the Pibo. Yeah. Pibo Zero is now Pibo Zero Flame. Mm. Let's go close up. Yeah. Close up. Hey. So we had the Pibo, which enclosed stuff, which means we needed to change it anyway for the new thing. So we've done a couple of things like change the screws at the corner so that it kind of covers all that off and it looks like a normal Pibo again and has the opening for the camera connector, which is kind of nice. SD card is still enclosed for security, but we are going to release a wooden minimal case. Oh, do we have that? Uh, oh, we'll, we'll show you on Thursday. Thursday. We'll show you on Thursday, yeah. We're still just refining that and how to pack it. Um, is there a kit with a camera and cable? Uh, we have the items separately. We are going to release a kit later today with a camera and cable, which we'll show you in a bit. Uh, any more questions, put them in the chat on YouTube, and we will give you a look at that. Uh, price is still the same. I don't know if I mentioned that, but, but the price is still the same. Zero, the price is the same. The Pibo is now five pounds. Um, basically, we've had to put another layer in here, which Ooh, is actually underneath yeah. the Pi Zero. When when they relaunched it, um, a lot of the placements on the top side of the board, specifically on the camera connector side, changed, mm. which basically means the old Pibo Zero is not compatible with the new Pi Zero. Yeah, um, we spent a lot of time working around that to try and make it viable, uh, and part of that meant that because the camera connector is relatively weak. We have put a 1.5 millimeter insert layer. You can't really see it, but it sits underneath the Pi, Pi Zero, um, just to give it extra strength. So that when you're plugging something into the GPIO, for example, you're not going to put pressure on that camera connector. Mm. Um, but because the thinner material is more expensive, paradoxically, um, it meant we had to increase the price of the case. Yep. But other than that, it's very much similar format to the old Pi Bo Zero, but just in hot new colors. Yep. You can order the camera cable separately. I'm sure. Uh, Sandy will link it in the chat so you can see a link direct to the shop and if you go on the shop right now there's a brand new banner and that banner actually takes you through to our new Pi Zero collection should we go back to camera? yeah sure go back let's camera. go back to camera we um, yeah it. so if you go to the shop uh, in fact let's bring it up yeah okay do you want to bring up the, the insert thing? The insert there we go there we go hey. so on the Pi shop on the Pimeroni shop even you can see a new flame, and that banner will just take you through to our entire Pi Zero collection. So it's got the new starter kit. Everything's in stock, by the way. That's quite incredible. Um, and the project kits have been updated to have obviously the new Pi Zero. All of the complete starter kits, the kits that come with the Pi Bo Zero case, have the new case. So everything's there, ready to go. 
The camera mount was updated when the camera was updated, so that's uh, obviously compatible. And yep, obviously all the existing facts and hats and accessories work perfectly well with the new Zero. There's no changes there. Yeah, shall we uh, kind of look at that camera connector? Because it is a smaller, more delicate camera connector. It is. Um, it's still pretty robust on the board, but you just need to, the insert in it, you need to be careful. I think we, uh, it's, it's kind of a similar stability to the one in our uh, Pike 8 kits. Our Pike 8 8 inch screen has a ribbon cable connector. Yeah. And a similar kind of pressure fit shim. Um, it's a lot easier to kind of actually pull that out if you're not a little bit more careful. It's like Christmas. Yay. This is our complete starter kit for Pi Zero, mm -hmm. uh, which comes in a lovely sweetie bag. I'm just going to crack one open because we're not very prepared, as usual. It's a bit early in the morning for that. Yeah. Um, you get power supply, you get like the adapter cables, you get a image noobs card with the latest image in there, and obviously the Ibo Zero Flame. Mm -hmm. But most importantly, you get the new Pi Zero. Yeah. So let's take that onto the close up. Okay. So there you go, there's your camera connector. Yeah, you just need to take like a fingernail or the stub of your engineering fingers and just gently easy, tease each end out. Oh yeah, of course, this is completely different to the style of connectors on the full-size Pies. I, yeah, I forgot the, about that. The, the one on the full-size Pie is fairly bulletproof. Yeah. This one is a lot more delicate, so if you pull that connector away from the Pie too hard... I'm really terrible at keeping this on it will It will flip out. There but go. yeah, just nudge it open like that, and that's all you need to do. And then the new camera cable is essentially a converter, so it takes the smaller format of the Pi Zero connector mm -hmm. and increases it to the larger format of the actual camera. Yeah. Um, so you do need an adapter cable to make it work, but obviously you can see from the mounting holes on the board, if I could get it in the right place, <laughs> that um, they couldn't physically fit the old style connector on there. So yeah. they, they've had to compromise and use a smaller one, basically. So anything else new? Nothing else new? That we can think of. Uh, a couple of test points have moved, not very interesting, but on the bottom side of the board there were some test points that are in slightly different locations. A couple of ground ones have gone. That may be important for, there's been a kind of a spate of USB hub style boards that mount underneath the Pi Zero yeah. using pogo pins to um, essentially make contact to these test pads. It's possible that will affect some of those, we're not entirely sure at the moment. So. Sandy's linked to his blog article as well, which is an interesting roundup of all this different. Oh, yeah. He's got a diff image on there, which actually shows, like, as a very clear image, what's different between one yeah, and two. Yeah, the top article. Let's have a quick look. I totally forgotten about that. Hey. Not. No. Let's go to the internet. Where is it? <laughs> He's linked to it there. Oh, I'll find it on the blog. Link early, link often. Yeah, Sandy um, spent a good day last week putting together this Pi Zero roundup for the new version of the Pi Zero. Mm. They've got some nice photos on there, camera connector. This tells you a bit more about how to connect the camera. Um, but this is the interesting bit. This is a kind of a diff image of the old and the new versions, um, which kind of shows you what's changed. Obviously, the stuff yep. around the camera connector primarily, but on the underside, you'll see the programming head has shifted and the test pads have also moved. So, yeah, modest changes, but welcome. Yeah. Okay. Oh, there's instructions for how you get the camera enabled there as well. And a little intro to the new Pipo Zero. Yep. Oh, look at it. It's a beaut! So That's you can get all the bits with the camera now. Um, later today, we will have a kit, though, which is a little project we cooked up. Yeah, this is a new project kit for the Pi Zero. Camera close up there. It is going to be a ba -ba. CCTV sign. And on the back, you can have the camera and the Pi Zero and the ribbon cable as some Wi-Fi and power and turn it into your own kind of mini surveillance state. Uh, <laughs> we'll have a series of ironic options. So, so far we have loose tweets, sync fleets. Oh, yes. Pirate telly. Because, yeah, you want your own live TV. Machine of loving grace. Hmm, that's a nice, nice reference to a 1970s poem. Where machines will watch over all of us and nothing to hide, nothing to fear. There you go. So this fine array of uh, camera mounting options will be available in the store later on today, hopefully. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. And yeah, with the uh, the Snoopers charter coming up again, don't forget to vote Absolutely. about your feelings on surveillance. And set up your own mini surveillance state with a nice tasteful sign hung on your wall. 
Um, yeah. Aaron Norris is just asking for a camera cable link on our site, I'm assuming. Um, but if you go to the banner at the top of our site, it will be in the Pi Zero collection. So just yeah, scroll down quite a few products. Yeah. I think it's next to the camera. Mm. Um, Raspberry Pi have just published their official post on the uh, new version of the Pi Zero, so that's worth checking out as well. I'm sure yep. there's some more information in there. Ooh, nice. Um, so, yep. Yeah. They got a battery kit already. I don't. Uh, I think there's some sort of hack that they found that's kind of. Cool. <laughs> that looks interesting. Yeah. That looks good. Cool. Um, we've tried it with um, one of the projects we're going to do early on as well. Once we've got the Zero LiPo, we've tried the Zero LiPo with the new one and it works fine. And I'm looking forward to kind of having that as a kind of life camera, just always there, always running, kind of remembering what I did in the day and having significant image from it. Because I've seen them on Kickstarter, but these all, they've always been like $100. Yeah. So having a Zero LiPo and a little, little 18650. Um, sell, yeah. I reckon you should have eighty six fifties and like a, an ammo band style <laughs> thing. It's like a, a little yeah. LED indicators as they, as they get used up. Yeah, be... and just a little conveyor so it kind of drops one off and puts a new one on and rotates it. That's it. Just don't go yeah. anywhere near an airport. Yeah, that'll be fine. They don't like that, do they? <laughs> they don't like that. At all. Yeah. Hmm. So what else? Those space. Ah. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's everything, isn't it? That's uh, it's, yeah. it is, it's just well, it's a, a camera connector, but it's yeah. a really nice extra feature. Yeah, if you do have any kind of probing questions, ask them in YouTube now, because, yeah. We're just hanging out. We're basically avoiding doing any real work, um, yeah. because downstairs they're going to be in utter chaos right now. Yeah. Bless them. Oh, we were in all over the weekend as well, weren't we? we? Were, just we prepping. Were. It's true. Yeah. So, yeah, no Wi-Fi yet, but that's going to cost. You can't do Wi-Fi for five quid as well. No way. Um, but yeah, it'd be a nice addition. In the meantime, the dongles are still there and cheap. Yeah. Richard Collins is asking what the supply numbers are like. Um, a lot better than previously. Yeah. So we'll see. I mean, hopefully this is the start of kind of regular, constant, um, good supply. Yeah. So we're hoping that there'll be every couple of weeks now, but we haven't had final confirmation and stuff does happen. But definitely I think the fact that us, Adafruit, probably Micro Center and Pi Hut, all got good numbers today is a fairly strong indication that, yeah, they've thought about this. I would say um, so. Yeah. Um, it's actually, in terms of supply, it's not that bad. I mean, we we knew there was going to be a gap because of the revision, mm -hmm. um, but it was only like four weeks or something, which in supply it chain It felt like a terms, long time because people are desperate to get hold of Pi Zero. In, in supply chain terms, that's nothing. No, no. Especially when you've got to do like EMC testing, revise the board, all of that. Um, yeah, Raspberry Pi Andy, are actually really good at this. It's just a really popular product, as always. Andy Curry is asking, what happens if he connects his cam cable to the display? Um, probably bad things, don't do that. <laughs> and uh, Bob Lott is asking if there are any shorter camera cables. Um, we're looking into that in the moment, because uh, yeah. that would be would be nice. I want one that's about that long. Any Two ideas how existing cases will fit with the extra one millimeter? I guess that's talking about the overhang on the connector itself. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um, I ha we have no idea about other people's cases. The original Pivo Zero definitely doesn't work with the new revision of the Pi Zero. Anything that's kind of a sandwich case where it's just top and bottom with the four corners and nothing in the middle as such, they should be fine. But anything that wanders into the circuitry or covers across the edge where the camera connector is, you're going to have a bad time. Uh, <laughs> two other questions here. Um, ETA on the start on being able to buy as many as you want, essentially, from Tom Hartley. Uh, we genuinely don't know. I mean, Still we basically just need way. to see how demand is. So yeah, we'll we'll hopefully we'll know. Soon. They've ramped up now, so they'll probably sell out in like four or five hours instead of two or three. And um, Terminus Introduction is asking uh, a question not about the zero, but the Displayatron breakout, and asking if it will ever be available. Uh, it will. We just haven't had time to kit it. So as soon as we get over this, we will um, hopefully be able to kit it. And another quite exciting um, thing is that we may also be able to offer an assembled version of that, which will save you having to solder the through our letters. But yep, we're working on that. Okay. So I think that's uh, just about everything for now. I think that is it. Let's go uh, pack some orders. Let's go pack some orders. Probably already had like a thousand. Uh, it's, it's fairly tasty. And we'll see you on Thursday. We've got quite a lot of good stuff for Bill Strength this Thursday. Yeah, yeah. And you'll have to wait and see. New stuff oh. coming out. Check your shop and outfit. We need a cable for Pi Zero, right? You only need a 
camera adapter cable for the Pi Zero mm -hmm. if you want to use the camera with the Pi Zero. Yeah, so when you buy the camera, you'll get the white cable. That's no good. You need one of the brownie cables. Retro 70s cables. You Small need one end, of those. Big end. And yeah, they're available separately, but we will have the whole kit with all the kit and caboodle and a uh, ironic sign. <laughs> yeah, super ironic. Okay, thanks very much, folks, and we'll see you on Thursday for the regularly scheduled edition of Bill's Tank. Bilge Tank. Mm. Bye. Like, subscribe, comment. <laughs>